and welcome to another Learn the Netflix video. This time, in this short video, we are looking at the differences between final circuits and distribution circuits. It is extremely important that all electricians understand these important differences and can easily and accurately identify the type of circuit correctly. According to the BS7671 wiring regulations, a final circuit will have a different maximum permitted ZS value to that of a distribution circuit. Identifying the wrong type of circuit and therefore selecting the wrong ZS value could seriously compromise the safety of the installation's occupants. So, without further ado, let's begin. We're going to keep our drawings very simple, very basic today, as this will help in the explanation. Let us imagine a typical domestic installation, a house with a detached garage. You have just installed a consumer unit onto the incoming supply, and your task now is to first and second fix the property. Let's put in a lighting circuit. And let's put in a socket circuit. We could also have shown the cocker circuit, the water heater circuit, etc. But for clarity and simplicity, we have left them off. The question now is, what types of circuits are these? Imagine electricity travelling from the power station to the property. The lighting circuit from the consumer unit to the luminaires is the last or final leg of that journey. This makes the cables from the consumer unit to the light fittings a final circuit. This is where it ends. The same with the socket circuit. From the fuses in the last consumer unit to the first socket on that circuit is a final circuit. And the next socket and so on. All the sockets are all part of the final circuit. The cocker circuit is a final circuit, so is the shower circuit. They are all the final part of the journey from the power station and there are no more consumer units or fuses in the way. Let's make it a little clearer to visualise and use the colour orange for the parts of the lighting circuit that are a final circuit. And we can apply the same colour orange to the final socket circuit, so anything in orange is a final circuit. Now, we need to supply power to the garage. We will install a small consumer unit or garage unit in the garage with the feed to the garage unit coming from the house consumer unit. And from the garage unit, we can have sockets, lights or whatever. OK, first job. Put in the feed from the house to the garage consumer unit. Because the cable is between two consumer units, or two sets of fuses if you like, it is now a distribution circuit. It is still distributing electricity. It has not yet passed the last consumer unit. So let's identify this with a pink colour. Pink for distribution circuits. Now we can put in the sockets and switches that are needed. And because they are the last leg again, they are all final circuits. So let us mark these in orange as final circuits. We have shown a few spur here as part of a final circuit. This is correct. Although the fuse spur or fused connection unit contains a fuse, it is not considered as a marker between a final and a distribution circuit. Cables going to a fused spur are part of a final circuit. Take a moment just to ponder this drawing. We have kept it very simple, but it does show very effectively the difference between final and distribution circuits. If you understand this drawing, you will have mastered this topic. A quick recap then. 
A final circuit is the last leg of the circuit from the power station to the point of use. In other words, from the last consumer unit or distribution board to the cooker, the sockets, a few spurs, lights, etc. If it is the last consumer unit, everything after it is a final circuit. A distribution circuit is between two consumer units. There is a consumer unit or distribution board at each end of that particular length of cable. If it is not the last consumer unit, the cable after it is a distribution circuit. Thank you for watching this video from Learn Electrics. We are certain that you will have found it interesting and that you will have added more knowledge to your mental toolbox. This is just one of the many Tech Tips videos that we publish on a weekly basis. If you found it useful, if you enjoyed it, then please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss our next video. Subscribing to our channel also helps us too. You can find Learn Electrics on YouTube and on Facebook and we look forward to seeing you again in the near future.